What is up guys, this is ValGuy here, and recently on our poll section in our channel page, I, uh, I made a poll and I asked which boss is the uh, hardest for you, which one do you hate the most, and as of right now, Bone Mass is the winner. So, we're going to take on Bone Mass tonight, alright? So, what do we need to take on Bone Mass, okay? Bone Mass is basically immune, I shouldn't say immune, but uh, very, very resistant to every single type of damage except for um, blunt damage. So on our iron mace here you can see we have 73 blunt. That is absolutely what you want. Dude, I don't use another weapon. <laughs> it's basically what it's going to come down to. May have your iron mace and have it maxed out. So for shields, we basically have uh, two options. We have the Serpent Scale Shield. Um, you can make this if you kill um, a Serpent, possibly two. If you collect the scales, which you need to drag them up on land to do that. But if that's not an option for you, um, then we can do the Iron Tower Shield. You want to max this out as well. Now, it's not as important um, to max out as the Mace but it is important to have. So I'm going to be running these two because they're going to be the most common. If you can find and afford and upgrade the Serpent Scale Shield, do so. But if not, don't worry about it. Um, let's talk about our iron, or our iron, our armor. So we're going to max out the Iron Helmet, the Iron Scale Mail, and the Iron Greaves, which is the pants. Um, also the Troll Hide Cape. Our next cape isn't until Wolves, which is in the mountains. So if you've if you tamed a wolf, go ahead and use the wolf uh, cape, but if not, then uh, just use the troll cape. Now, let's talk about food. So same thing, if we kill the serpent, no matter what, we're going to get the serpent meat. Basically, what we're looking for on the food is health and healing. So healing, you see at the bottom there, it says we get four uh, hit points per tick, meaning um, we're going to heal for... Um, four hit points every time we heal, right? So the alternative to this, it's nowhere near as good, is the black soup, right? So we have 50 health and only three uh, HP per tick, which isn't bad, but I mean, I mean we're gonna gain 30 health and we're gonna gain four, uh, or we're gonna gain an extra hit point per tick, um, which can be important, but I mean, it's not like, a game changer. The real, the real huge thing is that health, that 30 extra health. Um, the next thing we're going to get is the uh, turnip stew. We're only going to get two uh, hit points per tick, so we're going to we're going to play this like we're going to use the black soup, like we haven't killed the serpent. All right. So right now we're at five with those two. Um, that's going to be our stamina food, and then we're going to use our sausages. So that's going to give us another three. So we're going to be at eight HP per tick. We're also going to use uh, our meads, right? So we're going to use the medium healing mead. We're going to use the poison resistance mead. And we're going to use the stamina mead. We're going to use all three of these, all right? And if you have extras, and I should probably make extra uh, before we go into the fight, um, you absolutely should. I'd say minimum of five each just to be safe. If you want to max them out, do so. Um, same thing with the foods. Don't bring in like one of each of these be smart bring in a little bit more than that so that's basically what we're going to uh, to need to uh, defeat mr. bone mass um, he is a pain the, the pain thing about him is figuring out which weapon and once you do that it gets a lot easier which is blunt um, and then the other pain thing is actually he poisons the crap out of you which is why um, uh, hit points ticks become very very uh, important the rejuvenation part of it um, so, uh, I'm going to spawn in some more healing meads. Uh, let's see. Medium, we're going to go with four more. And we're going to spawn in some mead poison res... <laughs> spawn mead P, there we go. Was it resist? We're going to get four more. And then what was the other one? Spawn need stamina minor four. Okay, pick all these guys up. All right. So before we leave our house, if you guys don't know this, we're gonna eat. 
uh, you will heal a lot faster when you were in the house. So as you can see, I went from 25 to 53, so I just got, what, 28 hit points there. And then we'll go spawn in Mr. Mass, and uh, we'll go to our little death battle arena over there. Now I'm going to wait on the Meads for a second, because those are timed. Meaning you only get... I mean, the food is timed too, but we're going to have over 20 minutes with all the food, so... Not as big of a deal. Um, probably smart to bring these up as well, just to hotkey them. And that's plenty. We'll go get them. Oh, I'll turn off... I've, I mean, well, that's an interesting spawn spot. Alright, we'll turn off Ghost, and we'll turn off God Mode as well, which I have both of those on. We'll go over here. We'll spawn Bone Mass. Alright, here we go. Let's uh, get all our potions going. So there, yep, see we're poisoned. It's also important to get your club levels up. Um, so I recommend you get a club early game. So we're going to back up here. Poison. Yeah, block him. So he's already, I would say that's about 20% dead. He's going to do a big poison attack here. We just stay out of that. We'll be okay. He, he'll spawn uh, skeletons and blobs as well. Oh, should have blocked that. So I'm poisoned to get him going back in. Getting some good damage on him. Block. Yeah, he did no damage, but he still hits you for poison. Nope, there it is. Skeletons and blobs. Both are weak to... Ah. Both are weak to blunt. Skeletons and blobs are both weak to blunt. So we're going to back up a little bit. Alright, I'm going to go back in. Took a good hit there. Just do a big one. Back up. Alright, so we're about halfway through the fight. I'd say he's about 40, 45%, something like this. And this is with no skills, right? So... Got me pretty good there. Our health is looking great, though. Going down a little bit. Oh, gosh, three blobs, alright. Four blobs. Let's give them the business here. Here we go. Block him. I need our stand. I'm going to read Jen. He's going to throw up here. There he goes. Big old puddle of poison death. Let him come out of that. Can't hit us. And we're back to hitting him. Ah, he got me there. Back up. Let our stamina regen. Do another stamina potion. Ah, I should have ran in there, but that's alright. Skeletons aren't going to hurt you for much, so don't, don't really be afraid of them. I should get out of this cloud. Yeah, really getting poisoned now. Get another healing potion. I should have just hotkeyed that, but that's okay. Health is coming back good. Kill those guys. I'm going to rush back in. Health is looking great. Yeah, he's going to throw up again. That's okay. We're just going to keep beating the crap out of him. He's almost dead. That was a good hit by him. Ah, the stamina. You want to make sure you're absolutely rested for this fight. I forgot to mention that. Ah, skeletons. No big deal. They're all dead. There's a blob behind me, but... Bone mass is almost dead. Alright. So now... I'm going to run away. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys something. We're going to... Um, 
We're going to race. No. Nope. We're going to race skill um, club to 50, which is, I think, more accurate for you guys. Um, so if we go hit... That didn't work. Clubs, there we go. Clubs to 50. Alright. So now we're at 65. That is more accurate. Let's see what we do for damage now to him. We're just, we're just gonna kill him. 77, 86, 170. Yeah. Killed him a lot faster, obviously. Alright, let's get out of this poison cloud. Our skeleton. And he is dead. Alright, I'm gonna spawn him back in so you guys can see again with uh, with the clubs a lot higher. So let's see how long it takes us. Oh yeah, much faster. I'm doing like triple damage to him now. Don't know what's going on here. I just threw some spawns. Hit me. Big poison cloud. Alright, let's turn on our stuff. Look at how fast he's falling. So yeah, you want to make sure your blocks are getting heavier. Or getting better. You don't want to be... Is that stupid blob? There we go. That's why, if you've watched any of my other videos about starting off correct, Let's see how much a big hit will hit him. 230. Um, I emphasize using clubs early. And this is why. It's it's for this fight. That's it. Just for this fight. Gonna keep it up as high as you possibly can. I'm going to kill him before he gets me. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Easy peasy. And now these idiots... There you go, guys. That is the easiest way to kill Bone Mass. So, he's a pain, it's true, but as long as you know how to do it, he's not bad at all. So, hopefully, uh, raising your skills helps a lot. So, early game, you really want to be using clubs. Um, your resistances and your um, healing help a lot as well. What the heck? Oh, he spawned way up there. Cute. Um... But yeah, that is how the easiest way to kill the bone mass. So, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I really hope this help you, helps you guys out. Um, if you got any value out of the video, please consider giving us a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing so we can help others like you um, get better at the world of Valheim. So, uh, thanks guys. It's going to do it for us. Everyone have a great day.